All right, what's up everyone? Duquesne here with Forge Hub, and today we're checking out the map High Gear uh, by War Payment and Oakum. Now, this map is a symmetrical version of High Ground. Uh, War wanted to kind of like make a symmetrical version so it works, you know, really well with uh, multi-flag and competitive play. This also works with all game types as well as has the ghost on there. It has a variety of different weapons and power-ups and equipment that you can play with while you're playing on this map. But let's go ahead and walk through this map and check out the design and the aesthetics on here. Uh, that these forgers have created so we're starting down into the bottom now as you can already tell that it has some similarities of course high ground it's pretty much a symmetrical version of high ground from the side of the bases here like this base is kind of normally there they kind of kept that design uh you know somewhat normal to what high ground is but the other side is a little bit more different it has the rocks kind of going over the top of the base instead of that little tarp type of thing on top but if you look there's nothing down here, no beach side, at least that like slopes down really far, it goes through trees and has the cliff side and the caves and all that type of stuff on here. Uh, it goes into here and you hit a, you know, a barrier and if you get too far, all those guns over there will start shooting at you, I'm guessing. Uh, so you got to be careful about that. So I guess the very first one, let's go up this left side because this is more similar to the original uh, style of map, at least somewhat similar. What is that, a gun or something like pointed out there? Like shoot a man, they got a big old cannon there uh, shooting out to the outside over there. So, I mean, I don't know where to start. Like the aesthetics on this look fantastic. They did such a good job uh, blending all the rocks together and everything. They did fantastic. So, I don't know where to start. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in here. Yeah, I like that this is, they really changed it up. They didn't just try to make everything exactly the same. Uh, you know, just symmetrical. Uh, they changed it up, different types of stuff, added more base elements in here that really kind of fit the aesthetic of high ground itself. Uh, so that's really nice. So we're going to go down. And this is inside the bunker that you would normally come through on high ground right here. You got this big old can in here that you could shoot out. I guess they're aiming at that rock right there. They are taking down that pillar. Um, but, but yeah, so let's go ahead. We got ourselves some more weapons, nades, uh, ammo, stations there. Uh, okay, so this looks like a lift going up to the top. Ooh, this is really neat. This reminds me of uh, another, oh man, I can't remember what it's called, but it reminds me of another Halo map where it has like, you know, the windows on either side of the center pathway right here. Uh, so you can, you know, throw nades or shoot at people as they go through. Uh, that's pretty cool. Is it Isolation is the one that has that? I can't remember exactly if that's the one, but um, but yeah, look at this. This is fantastic. Okay, I don't want to get too far. Uh, just because we have a lot of stuff to check out over here as well. Um, we'll go up that lift sometime to check that out. But here we are. We're coming inside this base right here. Look at this. This looks so fantastic. And it looks like, yeah, there's a nice... I love how they incorporated a pipe. But, you know, it's not the same. But they did incorporate the pipe in some way that you can go through and fight on there. So you can have different... This one kind of goes down below... And this one goes above up on top. So if someone's watching down below, like sitting down there, you could go on top and be able to surprise attack them there. And of course you got the little hatch there that you'll be able to go on uh, and drop it down into the bunker part. Uh, this is, man, look at that. That's that's just a nice aesthetic touch right there. Has like a, a fan blowing and they have like some particles blowing out towards it. That's pretty cool. That's a little nice touch. Adds a little something dynamic to the map where it's not all just static. Uh, here we go. Got more weapons and everything. Very nice. Okay. Got more stuff. Okay. Now we're getting into the far back. I don't want to go too much. There's just so much, so many different pathways and so many different things to look at on here. I love the aesthetics of all this because it really works. Like it went for the high ground style aesthetics uh, and it really works out well. Uh, adding these extra rooms and extra places to be able to fight. So I guess this is somewhat of the computer room kind of, you know, that little, what's well, on the other side mainly, the computer room over there, like on the original map. Uh, but this is kind of like where it would be, like, but over there on the original map. Uh, very nice. Coming down here, coming, dropping down. We got the vehicle. We got this. Man, this, this just, this map itself just looks really fun to be able to play on. Um, even if it wasn't related to high ground, even if they changed some stuff up to where it wasn't, you know, like high ground, 
uh, like a symmetrical high ground. This just looks like a very fun layout of a map. Okay, there we go. We got some broken stuff. Hey, the target practice for a different, uh, you know, character stuff. Oh, so, oh, that's where they, they shoot from there. And they, you know, hit them over here with some target practice stuff. That, that's really cool. That is really cool to be able to have that type of stuff. Okay, so there are so many different nooks and crannies and alcoves and stuff to go on. I know I'm probably missing things, but I got to keep moving around. Uh, we got to check out the aesthetics on the other side and even in just the center area right here. All right, here, what do we have here? Uh, just, okay, they do have an invisible wall blocking that off. I, I'm glad they have an invisible wall there blocking that one off. Um, all right, can we, are we able to climb up there? Nope, it's too steep, slides down. Look at this, oh man, first step's a doozy there. We got a, what is this, like an elevator? Like drops down to over there? Very cool. I love the aesthetics of this, like of just adding some of the stuff on the outside. Just makes it feel active like it's just better. Acquired. Oh, got active camo on there. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's awesome. It's like, uh, it's, you're gonna fall if you step off right there. Uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go inside this little base back here. Uh, we got the bulldog here in the back as well. Uh, with a huge amount of gun up top. There, very nice. Very nice. Okay. I like this little pathway. It doesn't go completely around, so you kind of got to walk around and, you know, whoever could grab the bulldog first. And this is a, probably a great map to be able to have the bulldog in. Um, all right, so here we go. Oh, nice. Repulsor is up top here. Uh, that would that's probably gonna be a lot of fun. You can pull some people off the back and stuff And also get yourself up into some higher areas uh, with that repulsor there Some more grenades in the center come out over here. Uh, this is the different style. This is the blue side uh, Different looking stuff. Oh, this is a more natural looking area Man, that's that's ominous. Oh look over there Aha uh -huh. I do know, I remember seeing something where you gotta find all the, like, logos of all the teams and stuff. There's one right there. Spotted that one. Uh, and I believe, I, I don't know, I don't think it's still going anymore, but uh, War was given, like, $100 for every single logo someone finds, you know, like, the first person to find them on there, which, you know, that's pretty neat. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still going, though. Uh, but yeah, look at this. We got a BR here. I love the just the different style. That one's a more like actual uh, Compound this is a little bit more natural like you have these caves coming back here uh, You know more stuff over there. So let's see. Let's go ahead and jump up right here. Oh, I missed it Wow zero out of ten terrible jumping skills um, There we go. Okay, and we have it here dropping down over here and this you know, coming around over to this side over here. This is fantastic. Such a beautiful map. Beautiful. The aesthetics, just the design itself. I'm extremely impressed uh, with this. Oh, we got to go up that lift before we just, just, you know, see exactly where that goes. So let's go up the lift real quick. And I like how, you know, it's, it's a tight squeeze here. It's a tight squeeze. You go up and through it. There we go. Where are we going? All the way up top. So I guess you can get up there through the stairs um, or jumping probably on the bridge and stuff like that. Uh, but we have a nice little upper section uh, right here that you can, you know, you know, uh, shoot people from from up there. So very nice. I like the outside stairs. So it's kind of like how it was originally, um, you know, with these outside stairs here uh, where normally the Spartan laser is. Uh, but they added this little area over on this side. This is really fantastic like I can't keep stressing that enough this is a very very well-made map and I love just the style and the look of it ah, here's the computers like over there didn't have all the computer stuff but I guess they kept this side with the computers and everything like that so unfortunately I don't think there's any mongoose on this map that's that's unfortunate but <laughs> it's a little bit understandable uh, on here so uh, it's not as quite of a long map. It's a shorter map, you know, uh, just because this is symmetrical this way. It doesn't go all the way down the beach, you know, to the beach through the... It has the caves and the trees and all that type of stuff and the cliffs down on that side. Uh, but, you know, this is a really smart way. Oh, they actually fired one of those rockets off. I wonder what that it went and hit over there. It's got smoke. It's recently fired. We got down Pelican over there. Uh, but, yeah, this is a really nice map. It's... Fantastic, wonderfully built, wonderfully designed. 
Um, and yeah, so if y'all want to be able to check out uh, this map for yourself and play it, uh, the download link will be in the description down below. Uh, so feel free to be sure to go check that out, uh, download it, you know, load it up with some friends, uh, start yourself a lobby, and, you know, have fun with some random people and everything on there. And be sure to subscribe right here on Forge Hub for more of these walkthroughs of maps, checking out all the hard work that these forgers did, all the aesthetics, and checking every nook and cranny uh, to see what they have done and to, to give you inspiration. You know, a lot of people can check out stuff on all these maps you know, and get inspiration for their own map on how to build something or stuff like that because that's what we're about. You know, we want to be able to help everyone out and build the best maps that they can, uh, you know, in Halo. So uh, just be sure to subscribe right here on Forge Hub for more of these type of maps, and I will see you all in the next one. And remember, let's forge a new Halo.